So this is Dariel having her breakfast. She's having whole grain cereal with almond milk, homemade almond milk. Take your time. And a blend of chia seed, flax seed, and walnuts. So she she's really hungry. She couldn't even wait. This is her water. She'll have this water throughout the first half of the day. This is also goes at the side with her breakfast. This is one orange. And she has some cherries that I cut up. This is my breakfast. I'm having a banana. Just two bananas. I added um, two bananas. Walnut, hemp seed, flax seed, chia seed, and some coconut water. This is also going, going to be with my breakfast. This is cantaloupe. I don't think it's cantaloupe. I don't think it's honeydew. Honeydew, sorry. And my cup of water. And uh, that's pretty much what we're going to be having for breakfast this morning. I am about to go do my laundry. Let me show you guys my load of laundry this morning. Well, I'm watching Lilo and Stitch. This is my laundry here for the day. So I'm about to go do that laundry. So we are just having breakfast before. I also... I also have to do my daughter's hair. I have she's have this hair for three weeks, so I have to unloose her hair and uh, redo it. So those are just some of my morning plans for the day. Um, and if it's not rainy, we're maybe gonna go to the beach. We I don't think we're gonna go to the beach today. I think with having your hair to do, having the laundry to do, I also got invited to an event. I also want to get my YouTube videos ready for tomorrow. I think we may be able to go to the beach another day, not today. I think today I just want to get some stuff done. So that's just our mini morning vlog of what we're eating for breakfast and on, a, on our plant-based lifestyle. So I'll talk to you ladies. Hi ladies. Yes, I know my face look extra fat. I just got up from a nap. Um, I was so exhausted. I had to sleep today. If I didn't sleep, there was no way I could have even gone through this day. Um, I didn't vlog our lunch because I was too exhausted to vlog lunch. I was too tired. I came back from the laundry and I made a... I have a video on my other channel. I made a... What did I make? I made that kale salad that I love so much. I made that kale salad for me and my daughter. We had a huge bowl of that with some water. My daughter had some crackers. Now I'm going to make us a really, really filling smoothie and give my daughter some type of sandwich and have some type of sandwich because I think we haven't had a lot of calories for the day and it's already evening because we took that nap so we really haven't had a lot of calories today so i think we really need to take it up a notch and really get some calories um you know get my daughter some filling things she doesn't like avocados i had like a whole avocados with that salad but i really want to take it up a notch because um we really haven't we haven't eaten any snacks for the day and we haven't eaten a late dinner so we definitely need to get eaten soon as possible um, I was just so tired my daughter is actually still sleeping because we were tired from yesterday yesterday was a long day so um you know I'm just about to uh, you know just get something for us to eat and I still haven't done her hair as yet and I have an event to go to tonight presently cooking some rice here for my daughter she asked me for carrot rice now I'm not making any for me because I'm really trying to stick to more raw foods as I possibly can. I really want to have more raw foods. So I'm going to put carrots, shredded carrots in this. And I'll also put some sesame seed for her. So that's just some rice boiling so that she can have some carrots rice. I'll probably let that boil for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm over here juicing these veggies for... A smoothie a really nice nutritious smoothie because we haven't had that much to eat hi how are you ladies doing I'll show you guys some of what I'll be putting into my daughter's carrot rice so this is the carrots 
that goes into the rice. These are organic carrots. I'll put a few, I'll shred up some broccoli in there. I'm going to also put some garlic and this is a, a shallot or onions. Of course, with salt, pepper, some other type of seasoning, maybe even some ginger. Just flavor it really, really nice for her. So those are some of the veggies that will be going into her rice. Meanwhile, I'm getting this juice going. I know that you will say that this is a lot of work, but um, you know, when you're eating plant-based, you really want to know what's going into your body. Guys, I have so much energy. When you all hear, I said earlier on that I'm tired and I'm exhausted. Yesterday, I got up yesterday at 5, well, 4.40 a.m. I went to work. My daughter is with me. I took care of two children all day. Grocery shop, laundry. Did a lot of stuff on work. Did a lot of stuff at home. I mean, I did so much yesterday. Came home. My friend came over. I hung out with her a little bit. I mean, I got my life together as well as my home together as well as I worked out for an hour yesterday morning. I'm talking about 4, 5 a.m. in the morning because I'm, I'm back at exercising again. And guys, I had energy to go all day. I went to bed about 12 30 last night so deaf and i got up at eight this morning so i definitely needed a rest today to help me rejuvenate and my body because your rest and sleep is very is as important as exercising it is as important as eating healthy so for me to sit here and make this and you think oh that's a lot of work it's a lot of washing up yes it is it is it is an investment but you get to know what's going into your body and it's very very important you know it is very important that you know what goes into your body because when i'm not exercising and when i'm not eating properly i have no energy i cannot do the things that i want to do you know i sort my laundry organize stuff i went and do my laundry today but i was able to sort the laundry get stuff together for the laundry today i mean i was able to do so much for today you know and normally I, 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 I started getting really tired. I didn't have any energy anymore because I'm like, what is going on with me? And it's really, the, I started adding a little bit more processed food to my diet. You know, I started, it, it's just, guys, it has just been an amazing few weeks. My, my, my perspiration, my, my body odor has, is smelling so much better than it was smelling before by me just eating a plant-based diet. And I know I have a lot to learn and I have a lot more research, but for now, I really like that I have energy. I really like that my body is older, is smelling better. I really like that I feel like I can do a lot because I need it, you know? So I'm all done with this juice. This is gonna go into this, the blender. So for this smoothie, I will be adding this is a plant-based protein powder here. I'll add about, I don't add a whole scoop. I usually add like about this amount, like a half scoop of that. So I add a half scoop of that because this smoothie, this is almost like a meal because we really haven't had a lot of calories today. So I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of almond. To that. A few more. I'll add one tablespoon of flaxseed. You know, you need those oils, those omega 3 oils. So, a tablespoon of flaxseed goes in there. I'm also going to add a, about a tablespoon of gojo berries. Oh, I'm using one hand here, guys. So about a tablespoon of gojo berries. This pro this smoothie is really about calories and nutrients. I'm also gonna add, sorry guys, about a tablespoon of chia seeds. I have a few in there, so I'll just eyeball that. A tablespoon of chia seeds. I'll add one regular banana and I'll also add a frozen banana in the fridge. 
and that's pretty much some of what's going to be going into oh what I have here guys is let me show you guys I have a date I'm gonna be taking all the pits of that because they all have pit in them so I'll add a date from my kale salad today I have these a few stems that I'm gonna use in this green juice as well I just remember that I also have a ripe kiwi I'm gonna produce that as well so these are just kale stems from my salad and this is organic kale so I have these two left and this is my this is a cold fresh juicer guys I absolutely love this I added I added my frozen bananas in there I can blend this in, but I'm going to juice it. I'll just juice everything. Meantime, my rice is looking good over here. My This is for my daughter. Because I am eat, trying to eat more plant-based. If I want a cup of it, I'm sure I can have a cup of it. But let's see. Because this smoothie that I'm making here, this is going to fill me up real good. So we have a cup. And uh, let's see, a cup and a half of juice going into that smoothie. I'm adding a half cup of berries. That's strawberries, raspberries. Strawberries, raspberries, strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. Now I'm adding a cup of blueberries. I'm going to add a handful of ice, just a handful, not much. Oh, it smells good. So guys, let me show you all the melody. So this would be Miss Dariel's own. And this would be my own over here. Ooh, doesn't that look good, guys? Ah! Yum, 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 yum. Let me taste it and see. Mm. Guys, this is a meal replacement. It is so full in. It is so tasty. They have a variety of different tastes. Let me see again. Let me let me try again. <laughs> it's good. It's, it has a a very clean taste. Even though it has all these things in there, it tastes very refreshing. Mm. I need me a straw. So she's still sleeping and I'll just put her smoothie in the fridge. So guys, that is my smoothie for the day. It is delicious and uh, I'm about to make my daughter's rice. So when she gets up after she eats the smoothie, drinks the smoothie, she can have her rice. I'm about to make the rice and that's probably would be all the cooking for me for the day. Because, um, you know, I'm just eating plant-based. I have fruits. I can make a salad if I feel this is not enough. And, you know, but this is very full and very nutritious. 
I would not have eaten all the things that is inside of there one time. So um, I'll show you guys the rice. Say hi. Hi. We usually sleep with these, well, these um, oh, I think my hand touched there. We usually sleep with these. Oh, I am making a mess. Mm-hmm. We usually sleep with these towels on our pillow see now we have natural hair and there's all the oils in our hair we sleep with this so that this can absorb the oil through the cap for my daughter's rice i'm going to cut up the ingredients quickly i have a food processor so i use it but you can always use your hands and use a grater i don't cook i don't take that long to cook so i 10 minutes five minutes and i'm done because i don't overcook my food so I'm just going to use my food processor. It's much easier for me when I finish. All I have to do is just rinse it and put it in the sink. Yeah? Yes. One, give me one second, love. So I'm going to add these two garlic. I can there and the onions. I'll add a little piece of ginger to that. I add this one time to the pot with a little olive oil. And just let that cook up. All those big chunks, is, I'm going to probably take those off. But just let it cook up just to give the rice its flavor. I just want it to kind of toast and burn a bit. And I am back to my carrots. So let me make sure this thing is going properly. So I'm back to getting my carrots done. Put that on. We have carrots in there. So I'll add that carrot and the broccoli in there. It's a nice stir fry. And just mix that up. So I'll cover this and let this cook for a bit. The garlic, the shallot, ginger. I'll add a little salt to give it some flavor. So I added some fresh thyme and I just added my half cup of rice. Now I'm adding some sesame seed. I think my vent came on guys. So if it's okay that's my vent. I'm adding about a tablespoon and a half of sesame seed. The sesame oil. I'm adding some sesame oil, just about a, a sprinkle, not a lot. And I am excited to try this. My girlfriend told me about this. This is coconut amino. This is also vegan. It's for stir fry seasoning. And I'm excited to try a bit of this. So I'll just sprinkle a tad bit, not a lot. I would say about a tablespoon. About a tablespoon in there. And guys, when I make my food, I don't, I flavor the food. You know, even though it's all veggie and it's, it's plant-based, you know, you want your food to be flavorful. You don't want to feel like you're, you know, you're not living and enjoying food. So my daughter love, 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 um, she love rice. So I try to make it all different ways for her. But at the same time, make sure that she's getting the nutrients that she needs. I think adding some white beans to this would be even amazing. You know, that way you ensure that you're getting enough protein. But let me face it, my hands. 
Mm, it's good. It could do with a little bit more salt, a tad bit more salt. Mm, maybe I should add some more of the aminos. It can do with a tad bit more salt, but I'm not going to add any more salt. I'll just add the aminos and see if that will help with, you know, just sprinkle a little more. Meanwhile, there is a mermaid at the other side of the house. She and her baby. We got this outfit for the baby yesterday. My daughter had that outfit before. I still haven't combed her hair as yet. So meanwhile, we have a little mermaid here. Can I join the party? Yeah. So what you doing with your baby? You what are you feeding her? Milk? You giving the baby milk? What type of milk? Is she a plant-based baby or is she an animal-based baby? She's a plant-based baby. So what type of milk you giving her? Almond. You giving her almond milk. Okay, I'm like milk. Oh. <laughs> oh, is, does she love almond milk? Yes. Okay. Okay, baby. Look at my tail flapping. Oh, I see tail flapping taking place here. Bye, guys. Bye, She Do you like the rice, Dari? You love it? I'm eating like a mermaid. She is eating like a mermaid, she and her baby. And this is her smoothie. I gave her a smaller amount. Of course, I took the rest because I'm done with mine. So this is her, her dinner, and she'll have something snacky after. Okay, so we have broccoli, carrots, sesame seed, with a this is the sort of a still fry touch. That's this is the sesame seed. That's the sesame sesame seed. So that's her dinner. And of course, she has her smoothie and she has some water. water. And, and this. I, and I was giving her baby some. And she was having her. She was giving her baby some as well. Oh, mommy, you gonna mess up her hair with that with that red hand? I'm sorry, my red hand. <laughs> my red hand. So guys, she's having her dinner. I'm going to give her something snacky but healthy in a little while. And of course, we are going out tonight. So... Open the barbecue. Yes, but we, of course, we're not going to be having barbecue. So we may have whatever munchies, good stuff they have over there as well. But we are having dinner home first before we go. Because we don't want to go and eat what we shouldn't be eating. Yeah. You know, but I'm sure they have fruits over there. But we we're, we're gonna we usually go places filled. Like our auntie's house, Auntie Mary's house. Okay, eat Dariel. So guys, I'm finishing up the rest of her smoothie. I'm gonna clean up here, and uh, this is probably the end of the vlog. I may vlog how I'm dressed when I'm leaving. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just gonna do some tidying up here at my home, and um, I also have. I wanna do a. I wanna do at least an hour. Do something at least do an hour work on my branding my youtube my hobbies you know things like that before i leave so i will talk to you guys oh god i can't even do that i have my daughter here to come yeah the life of a mompreneur but anyhow i'll catch in with you guys later bye bye i'm having a snack a rice cracker with almond butter and bananas hmm. and cinnamon delicious